Today we're going to be talking about Patrick's annotation service. And the first thing you have to know for the annotation service is you have to have files that are appropriate for it. And those are contig files. Now, if you've run an assembly in Patrick, that will automatically give you contig files. Let me show you by going to my jobs page by clicking down here in the lower right. And a recent assembly, highlight that row, click on view. And you can see that I have that, the, when I run an assembly in Patrick, it creates a context file. But let's say you, you've assembled a genome outside of Patrick or you've downloaded something from GenBank and you want to annotate it in Patrick. How do you get it into Patrick? Well, there are three ways you can upload the server, upload data to this that can be used in the service. One is down here in the lower right, the upload, um, this, the upload monitor shows how your uploads are going, but you can also upload data there. You can upload directly in the workspaces that you can get to from going to this tab at the top of the page. And also, if you happen to be in a service, like annotation, clicking on services and annotation, I can directly upload data here. But first, let's talk about uploading data from the upload monitor. This icon here is our symbol for upload. So let's click on that together. And you can see that that opens a pop-up window. And first, it's asking what type of file you want to upload. Now, Patrick, you can upload anything here. Excel files, PowerPoint files, PDFs. If you have a collaborative workspace that you're working on with other people, you can. this is a great way to share data. But if you click here on this down arrow, for to run the annotation service, to generate an, annotation, an annotated genome, that service requires contigs. So I'm going to click on contigs. And why do that? For the Patrick services to read certain files, they need to be tagged appropriately or it won't recognize them. If you have read files and you go to the annotation service, you won't even be able to see it when you search for it. So it has to be tagged as contigs for the service to see it. So let's click on that. Now immediately you see it generates a message here and it says that these files must be provided in FASTA format. Typically those end in a .fa, a .fasta, or a .fna. And this is important to note that GenBank formatted files are not currently accepted. I know everybody would like it that way, but that's not the way our service works. So you can see that there's a checkbox here that says, restrict file selection to common extensions for this file type. So it's only gonna search in my computer for this. I could uncheck that, but then I'd have to see everything that, I, that was there. So this will make my search a little bit um, quicker, filter it down. So you could drag and drop files here from a window in your computer, from your finder if you're on a Mac, where you can select files. So let's click on that. This opens up a dialog box with my computer and you can see I'm in my downloads folder and it's automatically showing me those files that have the correct extension, FASTA files. So I'm going to click on this one and open it. And then you can see here it is. Here's that file and I'm going to start the upload. Now let me tell you that when I do start this upload, it's going to go into the home directory of my workspace. So click on Start Upload, and it's off. And I can monitor the upload by clicking here. Oh, and look, and it's telling me that this file has already loaded. Well, while we're talking about uploads, let me talk about another place you can go to upload data in Patrick, and that's directly into the workspaces. So let's click here for Workspace and let's click on Home. And this is my workspace, and you can see 
that it is rather disorganized and quite messy. I use the uploads monitor a lot and um, it goes directly into the home, into my home directory and I never take the time, I'm ashamed to say, to clean it up and to organize it. Don't be like me. Organize your data. It will make your life, um, you'll just be a happier person. I want you to be happy. I want two things. I want you to use Patrick and I want you to be happy. So for organizing your data, look up here in the upper right, add folder. Let's create a folder that we want to put contigs in. So I'm going to click on add folder and that creates a little pop-up window where I can name the folder. Um, and because I don't want to scroll through everything in my disordered workspace, I'm going to call it uh, a contig folder. So it'll be at the top. And I'm going to create that folder. So it says that folder's created. Let's scroll through some of the mess to look for it. Uh huh, uh huh. Oh, there it is. Okay. So I'm going to click on that. And it opens it up, and oh, the folder's empty. I could drag and drop files onto this window, or I can use this upload um, button to upload directly to this folder. So let's upload here. Remember, this is, it looks just like the window that we showed you that I showed you when we were using the upload monitor and the upload icon right here. But here I am in this particular folder, so the data is going to be uploaded there. I'm going to leave it unspecified this time so I can show you another function. So select files. And oh, see, when, I'm, when it's unspecified, look at all the things I can upload. So I'm going to upload this again. And I'm also going to. Um, whoops, I don't want to rename it. I'm also going to upload this guy. So let's see. I'm going to upload them both. They're both listed as unspecified and start the upload. And I can look at the upload monitor again. I can already see that it's uploaded, but you could check it again and it's saying that it's 100% uploaded. Now look, here are these files here. When I click on it, notice it gives me, it populates this vertical green band with a number of downstream icons of possible actions that you can do with this. But it also reveals some information beyond the green band. And here it says the type is unspecified. I've told you that it has to be tagged as contigs for the annotation service to be able to read it. So how do I change that? You see this down arrow here? Click on that and it opens up a sort of new window. I'm not sure exactly why it does that, but let's click on this again. And I can mark it as a context file. So I click on that and I click on save. And now um, the services that use context will be able to see it. And here I'm going to do the same thing to this one. I highlight the row, click on the down arrow, click on the down arrow, click on contigs, and click on save. Now that I have contigs in this folder, I could go ahead and delete it from the home directory, which I'll do at some later time. I'll show you guys how to do that so you can see how to clean up your mess. There's one other place that you can upload files, and that's from within the services. So let's click on services here and click on annotation in this pop-up window because that's the service we're going to concentrate on today. I click on that and it opens a, a window to the graphical user interface that allows me to submit an annotation job. Notice that the annotate button is grayed out. Once I can't submit a job until I fill in the parameters and it will not turn blue until I fill in all the data here and then I'll be able to annotate it. 
So first, let's give it some context. Now, if I know what these contigs are called, I could write it here, but we want to upload some data. So let's click on this folder icon that's at the end of the box. So click on that. And here we are within um, the workspace and it's going to get loaded into my home directory. I can click on the upload monitor and it's the same thing that we've had before. And I can select a file. And if I selected one I've uploaded before already into my home directory and I say open that and I say start upload, I'll get a message and it says, are you sure you already uploaded that earlier today? Are you sure you want to do that? Just for um, example's sake here to show you, I'll say, okay, we'll upload it. And now I have to, oh dear, now I have to, I would have to scroll down and find it. And I wanted to avoid having you see how disrupt, how dirty my, dirty, how disordered my workspace is. But then it's been uploaded. I click okay. And there it is for it appears in the folder or the end or the context. So the first step is there. So that's the three ways from the upload monitor, from the workspace, or from the service itself that you can upload your contact data into Patrick into your own private workspace so that you can use it in the annotation service. Next, we'll talk about submitting the annotation job.